This is the VOA Special English Technology Report. The Panama Canal opened almost 100 years ago. More than one million ships have passed through the waterway since 1914. The Panama Canal connects the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. It reduces travel by 13,000 kilometers. It avoids the need for ships to sail around Cape Horn at the bottom of South America. More than 40 ships pass through the canal each day, more than 14,000 each year. Now a major expansion project will permit more ships and bigger ships to pass through the canal. Jorge Luis Quiano is the Panama Canal's Executive Vice President of Engineering. He says, the present canal has a total capacity of about 340 million tons a year that it can handle. That's the maximum capacity. With the expansion, we expect to double that, over 600 million tons that we can handle in a year. Ships pass through a series of locks. These locks raise a ship to the level of Gatun Lake at the canal entrance on the Atlantic side. They lower the ships back to sea level on the Pacific side. For years, shipbuilders limited the size of many ships so that they could fit through the Panama Canal. But now, many shipping companies use bigger ships to transport more goods as a way to reduce costs. Jorge Luis Quiano says the expansion project will allow many of these larger ships to use the canal. This new canal actually is offering a larger vessel that it can handle with deeper draft with a longer and wider vessel. Workers are building the new locks alongside the old ones, which will remain in use. The existing locks are 305 meters long and 33 meters wide. The new ones will be 427 meters long and 55 meters wide. They will be able to handle ships with drafts of more than 15 meters. Currently, ships can ride only 12 meters deep in the canal. Engineers could not make the new locks too big. Mr. Keanu says the plans had to balance the size of the locks with the cost for ships to use the canal. We had to look at the optimal size of vessel that would make the return on the investment of a high value to us. So we chose what size of vessels that could actually pay for this project. The cost is estimated at more than $5 billion. The new locks are set to open in 2014, the 100th anniversary of the Panama Canal. You can watch a video about the project at voaspecialenglish.com. For VOA Special English, I'm Carolyn Prasuti.